If you ask the, the, the people who have been here for the past 20 years, they will tell you that they are, the land for pardon has changed. If you just look even the space of like five, five years, you find that maybe now lanes are normally starting in December, but uh, five years ago, the, the lanes were starting in maybe October. Mm -hmm. So that's a very big change in terms of the environment because the, the time of planting different crops has also changed. We construct a weir across the river. The assumption is that like, uh, it will be here for more than 20 years. From that receiver box, water is taken to this uh, box. This box is the last box where water is now thrown into the main canal. It is going down up to 800 meters. We are able to irrigate an area of uh, 4.5 hectares town site. In this project, we included uh, the uh, provision of uh, fruit seedlings like peach, uh, apricot, and the bananas. Because if they plant the banana today, after two years they'll be able to, to, to harvest something. And if you can look at a banana plant, it's a plant which is also drought resistant. Uh, during the, the dry season, dry period, the bananas are st still produced. They still like uh, produce the fruits, and the farmers will be able to harvest and sell the, some of the bananas and have some for consumption at their households. As a, an organization, we are promoting uh, sweet potatoes, cassava, bananas, uh, pigeon peas, early maturing varieties of maize, mm -hmm. and uh, soy, soybeans. Sweet potatoes, they, they fit well into the adaptation because they, they mature very fast. So even if you have less rains, if you have less rains, you are experiencing rainfall problems, you will still harvest uh, from sweet potatoes. So uh, it, it is in the line with what you call uh, crop diversification, growing of different crops, different crop types, so that if the rains are like stops early, other crops will be able to do it without, without with less rains, others will not do well. But the farmer at the end will still harvest something. So if he grows maize, sweet potatoes and uh, cassava, you find that maybe maize has failed but sweet potatoes has, 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 has produced, so you will be able to have food from sweet potatoes. Uh, what has happened here is like uh, the maize which has been planted with the lens are still at knee height, but now you can see the maize which was planted with uh, like irrigation. The farmers are can, uh, this is ready for consumption or even selling at the market. And at the same time, if you take it to the market, it will fetch a higher price. And uh, this, is, this will be his second uh, harvest. Yes, I've, I've worked with Concern Universal for like five years now, and uh, working with uh, rural people for the same period of time. And uh, uh, the main barriers to, to this work, type of work, I would name them into two folds. At village level, mainly when you are doing, we are constructing an irrigation scheme, you face resistance from the landowners. They feel like you are going to, we are going to snatch their land. So if you say, I know we want to, to, to uh, put uh, this land into irrigation, they feel like maybe the government will snatch the land from them, because they have seen maybe those instances where the government was constructing schools, primary schools. They were just coming and say, so we want to put a primary school here, so everybody should move out. If it was your garden, you lose the garden. So they feel like the land will be taken away from, taken away from them. That's the major challenge that we face. Then the second way is uh, if you, even if you construct this uh, scheme, but you don't provide the farmers with the inputs like fertilizer and improved seeds, they will still come with their conventional way of farming to, to this land. And you find that at the end of the day, the land is not productive as it was supposed to be. So you also have not to stop at construction. After constructing, you need to, to go into the field, into production, and if possible, help the farmers with this. Start up inputs like fertilizers, chemicals, and uh, seeds, improved seeds.